The following is a production of Learfield Sports. Next on a holiday edition of UMass Sports Insider, we'll catch up with a former Minuteman hockey standout, a defenseman who is making a serious impact in the professional ranks. And you'll hear from a UMass football star linebacker who is graduating from Western Mass and getting ready to make an impression on professional scouts. Plus, you get to see how several campus athletes made the holidays a bit more fun for some local kids, delivering toys to youngsters who have been fighting to get well at the Shriners Hospital. We are right in the holiday spirit. UMass Sports Insider, right now. watching UMass Sports Insider, presented by Mafre Insurance, Coca-Cola, and Office Depot Office Max. Wanted to say welcome to our holiday show. We have Santa Kellogg here from the UMass Men's Basketball and Athletic Department. Wanted to wish you uh, happy holidays and a definite healthy and happy new year. Ho, ho, ho. Hi there, happy holidays and welcome to UMass Sports Insider. I'm your host, Josh Mauer. Also coming up at the end of our program, it's our UMass Athletes Holiday Singing Extravaganza. Oh boy, you won't want to miss that. Make sure you stay tuned until the end. But we're going to start with hockey. This year, UMass has had many former players making some waves in the National Hockey League, including Frank Vetrano with Boston and recently Connor Sheary with Pittsburgh. Now a former defenseman is knocking right on the door starring with the AHL San Diego Goals. Recently, we caught up with Brandon Montour, who's been having a great year in his first professional season, and let's see what he had to say, presented by Office Depot, Office Max. I started in Waterloo. Uh, unfortunately, uh, some schooling stuff uh, didn't get resolved, I guess, before the deadline, and ended up in Waterloo at the start of the year and played a few games for them, and then actually had to wait to Christmas time to come uh, to UMass. And, um, Went home for a couple weeks after Waterloo and then ended up going to UMass at Christmas break and I guess played, uh, I want to say around two months there. I know I played 20, 20 odd games and, uh, and then Anaheim signed me after that and went to Norfolk and played around the same amount of games there and yeah, that was, that was my year I guess. Gets it on the right point, Montour shot, he scores! Montour flipped it toward the net, Nichols was screened, I don't think he saw it, that's a power play goal by Brandon Montour, his first goal as a minute man. Yeah, you know what, they have a great program and I mean, uh, I wouldn't regret going there at all. The coaching staff there and meeting the new players and I mean, I, mean, it was, I had an unbelievable time there. And, I mean, the biggest thing there and I mean, having the school atmosphere, I guess, for a bit. And, um, playing at the Mullen Center and um, just like I said it was a great uh, great decision on going there for sure from uh, just I mean playing in that league in Hockey East and um, the competition that we played and I mean it I mean you can't can't get better than that um, I mean the opportunity that I had with uh, UMass and I mean it was it was a great team that we had there and in practice we would uh, compete like n none other and I mean game wise we uh, carried on to that and it was a great, uh, great year I guess for sure. In his one season with the Minutemen, Montour was named a Hockey East All-Rookie Team selection. He scored 20 points in only 21 games played, the most points scored by a UMass rookie defenseman in the Hockey East era. At the start of this week, Montour ranked 15th overall in the AHL in scoring, putting up 25 points in 25 games played giving him the second most points scored among all AHL defensemen. He leads his team, the San Diego Goals, in points. Well, it's great to catch up with Brandon Montour. For the current version of the Minutemen hockey team, they're off until after New Year's, returning with a non-conference matchup in New York. They'll take on Army West Point on January 2nd. Well, it's time for us to take our first break on the holiday edition of UMass Sports Insider. When we come back... You'll see how some Minute Men and Minute Women have made the holidays a little bit brighter for some area children who are going through some tough times. A trip to the local Shriners Hospital with lots of toys on the other side. He 
drives, he shoots, he scores. That's right, it's basketball season and your UMass men and men are ready to take to the court at the Mullen Center. Don't miss out on the fun. Be sure to get your seats for this season's premium matchups and exciting game day action. Choose your games with the Maroon Pack or the Musket Pack. Select three great games for only $55 or five games for $90. Great seats are still available. And single game tickets are starting at just $20. Get your game on. Call 866-UMASS-TICKS or visit UMASSathletics.com to lock in your seats today. thinking insurance company with a global network focused on taking care of you and your family providing freedom from worry everywhere you go Moffre insurance a forward-thinking insurance company with a global network providing friendly service with over 2,000 professionals taking care of you and your family Moffre insurance I'm getting ready to shop for school supplies, and I'm kind of super excited about it. A number two pencil. It'll get you through the day. This is what you need. Why didn't I get enough pencils? Like, I'd open a pack of paper, and I'd be like, it smells like learning. <laughs> Love that sound. Oh, the future is now, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I'm going to get. This right here. I am a student again, and I can do anything. I have an agenda. <laughs> Leadership isn't given, it's earned, realized, accomplished, fulfilled, won. Leadership isn't given, it's taken. Welcome back to UMass Sports Insider. It's the season for giving, and recently some UMass athletes certainly did their part. The Shriners Hospitals are famous nationally for treating children of all ages with orthopedic conditions, burns, and other maladies. And what do you know, there happens to be a Shriners Hospital right down the road in Springfield. After collecting some toys on sporting events right here on campus, recently some Minute Women visited the local Shriners Hospital to spread some holiday joy. Let's take a look back. Presented by Office Depot, Office Max. We started planning in September. Uh, we had to decide what games we wanted to collect the toys at and organize, um, like coordinating that and finding people to volunteer and help out, which was a lot easier than we expected. People are really willing to help out around this time of year and we had a great turnout. We are so excited to welcome the UMass student athletes. You know, you talk about student athletes and how they're dedicated to academics and to sports and the dedication and the loyalty, and they've gone the extra mile here today to bring toys to the Shriners children. So when they say bop it, you like hit his head and then twist it when he says twist it, and then pull it when he says pull it, you get faster and faster and faster. We take care of children in our outpatient department with different diagnoses or different problems. We take care of a lot of children. We start when they're babies, especially with our cleft lip and palate clinic and spina bifida, and we take care of them until they're 18 to 21. To have the toys here today for Christmas for these kids is amazing.
we have we wouldn't be where we are today without a community supporting us growing up so we just want to do anything that we can to support the community that we're currently involved in It's just nice, I mean, the children are so happy and so grateful and we're just happy to be able to do anything that might make their day a little bit better here at Shriners. The toys not picked up during the UMass athletes visit to Shriners Hospital will be either distributed by the hospital staff throughout the remainder of the year or some will be donated to the local Boys and Girls Club. Time for us to take a break. It's our holiday edition of the program and don't go far away when we come back. We look at UMass football and sit down with a graduating UMass senior linebacker who is preparing for the next phase of his career. We'll be right back with Joe Vaughn, Santos Knox. Keep it right here. He drives, he shoots, he scores. That's right, it's basketball season and your UMass men and men are ready to take to the court at the Mullen Center. Don't miss out on the fun. Be sure to get your seats for this season's premium matchups and exciting game day action. Choose your games with the Maroon Pack or the Musket Pack. Select three great games for only $55 or five games for $90. Great seats are still available. The single game tickets are starting at just $20. Get your game on. Call 866-UMASS-TIX or visit UMASSathletics.com to lock in your seats today. Welcome back to our holiday edition of UMass Sports Insider. It's time to talk football as we welcome on one of the great senior linebackers that UMass had and really a, a staple on the defense for the Minutemen football team for the past four years. It's Joe Von Santos Knox presented by Peter Pan. Joe Von, thanks so much for coming on. Thanks and for before we look ahead, let's just look back. Your career is over. You're graduating from UMass now. It must be a kind of heady time for you, isn't it? Yeah, it definitely is. You know, it's, it's sad. I, I handed in my apartment key today, so, uh, you know, it's, it's really sinking in now. Take me back through the season. I know it was a year you wish you could have won more games, mm -hmm. but as a whole, the defense improved from the yeah. year before. You had another banner season. What was 2015 like? Um, you know, it was a lot of ups and downs, but I think, like you said, the defense, you know, we, at the end of the season, we were playing really, really well, and I know I took a lot of pride in that and uh, seeing how well we played as a defensive unit. And, you know, I think... It's great stepping stones for them to move on in the future. Your last two years on campus, they were standout to say the least. And the numbers are pretty much unprecedented from what you did as a junior and a senior to what anybody did for a couple of years as a linebacker at UMass. What did these last two years mean to you personally uh, to, to go through tackle numbers like you had? Uh, you know, it meant a lot. You know, you know I, I, I give a lot of my success to Coach Walker because, you know, he made me become the best linebacker I could possibly come. I think at UMass, you know, he uh, pushed me every day, made me work really hard. And, you know, having a great linebacker coach who also played the position at the same school, you know, it, it helped a lot and uh, he you know, really helped me out. I know that graduating is a very big deal to you and a lot of the football players finish mid-year. So you, you finish your classes in December and then it's time for the next phase. Before we talk about the next phase, talk about what it, what it took to, to finish all your schoolwork. Uh, you know, it's a lot, you know, definitely, uh, you know, this school is very hard, you know, it's not, not an easy university, so, you know, working hard and, you know, studying every night, you know, it definitely pays off because now, you know, you're going to have a degree. And so you're getting ready for the next level, hopefully. Tell, tell us about what you're going to be doing to try to prepare to get the NFL teams noticing you. Um, you know, I'm going out to uh, out west to California to train for a couple months, you know, get ready for the, uh, the pro day here, so it's very exciting. Where are you going to be? I'm going to be in California. Uh, and specifically? Uh, yeah, in Los Angeles, yeah. That's, so. that's pretty neat. How does that process work? Do you work out every day, you know, 12 hours a day, you're out there just trying to get your body in shape? Pretty much, you know, you go six days a week, you know, uh, two workouts a day, you know, you're eating on a, on a, a nutritionist plan, uh, dinner plan and stuff, so you, it's very nice. It's a state-of-the-art uh, workout facility, so it's really nice. What are the lessons that you learned, Jovan, from your time here at UMass that you think will help you get ready for the next level? Um, you know, definitely just, you know, when hard times come, you need to fight through it, you know. We had a lot of hard times here these last, you know, four years, but we stuck through it. You know, I have some brothers that I made for life, and those guys, uh, such as Tajay Sharp, you know, Rodney Mills, John Robinson, you know, those guys, you know, everyone on the team, you know, they know what it takes to, uh, you know, keep fighting, and I think that's a big, big thing for me to take on in, uh, later in life. Well, it's been so fun watching you play 
for these four years. And you've done such a great job on the field and off the field representing the program. So we say happy holidays. Best of luck to you, Jovan, right, as you move you forward. Much. Appreciate it. Jovan Santos Knox joining us here on UMass Sports Insider. Our holiday show will continue after these quick words when we come back. We'll look back at a pair of fun nights at the Mullins Center before the holidays in which the UMass Minute Women welcomed some young fans to the building to cheer them on. We'll be right back. Leadership isn't given. It's earned. Realized. Accomplished. Fulfilled. One. Leadership isn't given. It's taken. Welcome back to the holiday edition of UMass Sports Insider. Right before we got to the holiday break for the UMass teams, there were two home games at the Mullins Center for the UMass Minute Women basketball team. One, a Girl Scouts night on Saturday against Boston University, then a Tuesday afternoon matinee against Hartford. We've got the sights and the sounds from those two days at Mullins Center. Let's take a look. Presented by Mafre Insurance. Offensive rebound, Mulligan, three seconds. Dillard's shot, no good. Another offensive rebound, Kambilla makes it at the buzzer on the third chance. Gives it up to Dillard with nine to shoot. Dillard moves to the point, fires it inside to Timbilla, who puts one off the glass. Rebound comes to Mulligan. Mulligan to McDermott. McDermott to Dillard in transition. He drives into the paint, puts one off, it's good. They want to travel, there is none. It's going to be a chance for a three-point play. Up to the point to Alex Stiff. Inside pass to Hill. Hill trying to drive, flips one up off the glass. It's good, and that makes it 21-18. I thought our rebounding improved and our fast break got going. I think the third quarter is really summed up by getting the boards we had to get, uh, running the floor the way we are, we're capable of, and um, that gave us momentum and excitement. And when our kids are excited to play, they just look a lot better. Dillard crosses the timeline, trying to take it coast to coast, now flips it out to a wide open, Starworth is open for three on the near corner. Point now inside to the top of the key, now backs out, now back to Dillard for three from the far wing, good. UMass leads again by two. Some of our guards just get really excited when they knock down a three. Um, and we're good shooters, and they certainly put enough shots up, so we give them the green light, especially if the ball's been reversed or if the ball's been inside out, they have the green light to shoot that three. Real quick shot there by Hope, probably ill-advised. Here comes Stallworth driving the other way, floats it in, going coast to coast, counter. Lawrence back in the game, spinning in the paint, floats one in on the spin. Um, they're aggressive, so we're going to work on, you know, what we need to work on for Hartford and, um, you know, it's another home game, so it could be another big win, but it's not going to be easy. It's going to be, they're a tough, tough get after team, so we're looking forward to just playing a really good game and having momentum and motivation and uh, just going into the holidays with a really big win. Stalwart driving, back out to Dillard. Dillard's going to take the long three, and she hits it. Sierra Dillard for three. Melissa Lawrence makes herself available for free throw line. She's going to want to drive on Harrison. Pulls up for two and hits it. Melissa Lawrence on the score sheet now with a two. Backdoor cut, nice and done there by Alex Stiff. And she puts it up for two for the minute women. As they cut the deficit to seven. I think anytime we hit a big shot, it always gives us motivation, especially when we're down. You can feel the life in the crowd kind of pick up, and that kind of gives us motivation. And then we pick it up on defense, and our defense became our offense. And Stallworth with the aggressive play. Hawks has done this by a steal by Stallworth. She's been doing this all day. And she throws up the layup. And it's good. <laughs> rebound by Alyssa Lawrence. An aggressive rebound. And up comes Stallworth the other way. Stallworth driving. Throws to Rashida Timbella, who's fouled. And one. We know what we had to do. We know where we can hurt them. Um, fast break really took hold of the game, and we just kept running on them. As soon as we got uh, rebounds, we just saw a man. We ran the floor, and 
Go easy buckets. Well, the men and women are off for the holiday, but they're back in action next Wednesday night and back at the Mullen Center. They take on in-state rival UMass Lowell at 7 o'clock. That's December the 30th. We'll be right back to wrap up this edition of UMass Sports Insider. And as promised, we'll have some athletes singing Christmas songs. So don't go away. He drives, he shoots, he scores. That's right, it's basketball season and your UMass men and men are ready to take to the court at the Mullen Center. Don't miss out on the fun. Be sure to get your seats for this season's premium matchups and exciting game day action. Choose your games with the maroon pack or the musket pack. Select three great games for only $55 or five games for $90. Great seats are still available. Single game tickets are starting at just $20. Get your game on. Call 866-UMASS-TICKS or visit UMASSathletics.com to lock in your seats today. thinking insurance company with a global network focused on taking care of you and your family providing freedom from worry everywhere you go Moffray insurance a forward-thinking insurance company with a global network providing friendly service with over 2,000 professionals taking care of you and your family Moffray insurance I'm getting ready to shop for school supplies, and I'm kind of super excited about it. A number two pencil, it'll get you through the day. This is what you need. Why didn't I get enough pencils? Like, I'd open a pack of paper, and I'd be like, it smells like learning. <laughs> I love that sound. Oh, the future is now, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I'm going to get. This right here. I am a student again, and I can do anything. I have an agenda. <laughs> Welcome back. Well, that will do it for this edition of UMass Sports Insider. Our next new edition debuts on New Year's Eve next week. Don't forget before that, on Tuesday night, the men's basketball team is at Mullins against LIU Brooklyn at 7. The next night, Wednesday the 30th, the men and women take on UMass Lowell. To take you home, we present the UMass Athletes Annual Holiday Greeting. Have a great, great, happy, and healthy holiday. Of fun. Now the jingle hop has begun. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bell chime and jingle bell time. Dancing and prancing in jingle bell square. In the frosty air. What a bright time is, what a bright time to drive the night away. Yay! <laughs> Riding in a one horse sleigh. Giddy up, jingle horse, pick up your feet. Jingle around the clock. Mix and a mingle and a jingle and beat. That's the jingle bell rock. Jingle bell. And a mingle and a jingle and beat. That's the jingle bell. That's the jingle bell. That's the jingle bell. Rock. Merry Christmas and happy holidays from UMass Baseball. We look forward to a happy and prosperous new year. Hi, I'm Ryan Bamford, Director of Athletics at the University of Massachusetts, wishing you a happy holidays from our athletics family to yours. Look forward to seeing you in 2016.